boy was just like me. At the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, the little boy grew and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, son, I go, go with the real get together then. Go and have a good So we've just seen some magical footage outside our seaplane on the way to the horizontal falls and there they are so quite a magical place in regards to the natural beauty and natural wonder we took a seaplane from Broome uh, so we flew out from Broome and landed uh, near a pontoon near the horizontal falls uh, landed nice and safely so everyone was happy with that they get you onto the pontoon and change your mode of transport, which is this awesome speedboat, which takes you up nice and close through the rapids. You go with the rapids and you go against the rapids. So it's quite bumpy going through, so you can really appreciate the power of them. Uh, that first opening is about 20 metres wide. The water level drops about two or three metres to the next one, which is about seven metres wide. So 
yeah, you really get a, a good feel of, of how special these, these horizontal falls are. It's ridiculously expensive to do, um, but definitely a tick off the bucket list. So you can really hear and see how powerful those rapids are. Family having an awesome time, giddy up, get going. Beautiful, definitely, uh, definitely worth going to see. So if you're travelling through Broome or somewhere nearby, and you you've got a spare pocket of cash, um, I would definitely recommend it. On the pontoon, they do kick the floor, and all these sharks bob up for a bit of a feed. So you can really get nice and close in the pool next door. Uh, they give you a handful of food to throw down, and uh, they snap away at it. So. Plenty of cool things to do. Horizontal Falls, get there, you'll love it. Mirama National Park, just near Kanawara. Pretty cool, man. Good job, bud. An hour walk. Woo! All right, so we've just climbed Kelly's Knob in Kununurra. So Kelly's Knob, ooh la la. Walked up. How long did it take us, bud? One whole hour. Whole hour to walk up. The views are pretty spectacular, as you can see from behind. So as we taper around, pretty awesome. You've got Joy all the way down there. You can see little Joy. So she's down there. So it just shows you how far we've actually come up. And you've got our campsite, which is near the uh, the lake over there. So with, you'll see. With alligators. With alligators, crocodiles actually. By the way, so if there. you see red eye crocodiles, they're salties. And if you see white eye crocodiles, they're freshies. There you go, something learnt today. Red eye crocodiles and white eye crocodiles. They're all crocodiles and they'll all be, bite you till smithereens and you're not gonna survive. So don't take on any salt or fresh water crocodiles. Isn't that the right toots? Yep. Keep aware, keep croc aware. They'll, they'll suck you up like a little strawberry. Strawberry, they'll put you in their belly and that's it, you're gone. All right. For your lot, everybody. One hour back down. One hour back down. Let's go. 